Hi, Hannah. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Thanks. Good. So I bought this dragon tail plant. Yeah. And I love it, yeah. but it's starting to kind of grow all, <laughs> all over the place. And I'm wondering how I can tame it. Excellent. Well, you know, it looks like it's uh, in a little tiny pot. Probably yes. could use a, a repotting. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you got to do something with uh, with this the way it grows, which you can tell why it's called a, a dragon's tail. Yeah. So, <laughs> so why don't we uh, why don't we go over some of the neat things we okay. can do with it? Um, what we've got here is is uh, we've got some poles that we can use for your dragon's tail. Mm -hmm. So, and what's neat about them is they they bend. So you can mm -hmm. put them in whatever shape you like, and then you can we can weave the dragon's tail around it. And then you just train it, and it'll stand out new uh, new leaves, and it'll look wonderful. And it'll be far more interesting than just hanging down over the side somewhere. Okay, okay. Now, when it comes to which one I pick, I see there's different lengths. Yeah. So what we would like to do is we should let's stretch this guy out a little okay. bit. And then if you lay that down, let's just see how long. So you might want to go with a bigger one. This one? Um, yeah, only because it'll give you some, this one here will actually fit perfect right now, mm -hmm. but. But it'll keep growing. But this one will allow you to let it grow a little bit farther. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, then. perfect. So do you like this pot over here? There's a black yeah. pot that's quite nice. So I should, I should point out, I mean, the other thing that's neat about these is uh, that they, they bend. Uh, the thicker ones are filled with uh, sphagnum moss, mm -hmm. um, and so the the plant can actually root right into them if they need to. Cool. Uh, cool. Some of them, like some of the philodendrons and stuff, will actually root right into them. Now, so do these need to be watered or wet you can, before use? You can. These ones actually will be fine. Here's one of the older types. Mm -hmm. It's a bit. You can see it's dry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would definitely soak this one in water before you're using it. Unfortunately, this one doesn't bend very well. Um, it's not really designed. It'll probably actually break if, it, if you bend it too far. It just stands up but straight. But they're nice. I mean, yeah. they're like this, but these are fantastic. Okay. And they come with the, little yeah, weights. Yeah, these ones bend too, hey? Yeah, any of the, the big ones will bend. You can, you can, you know, get a little creative with them. You can, and the nice thing is you can make them three-dimensional. So you yeah. don't have to just you know, make an S out of them. You can make an S and a curve and whatever yeah. you like. So if you have a particular uh, uh, place in your in your house or in the room where a certain style would work, heck, you know, just bend it to whatever you yeah. like. And obviously, I assume you would just grab a bigger one if you had a bigger. One, yeah, I mean, you can, you can if you wanted to. We're going to go with a little longer on here, mm -hmm. but if if you wanted just to start off with a, a, a smaller one and then once it gets to the top it, it might be a good indication that hey I gotta repot this mm -hmm. so you just repot it because you do have to start with repotting you can't like this one where you stick it in the yeah, soil this one has to go in first this one has to go in okay. first yeah okay. sounds good all right so let's start we've got a nice pot it's got a hole in the bottom we got some drainage mm -hmm. there so we got some soil for you so what I would do is just put a small layer of soil just in the bottom. And why you were going to do that is um, this block, you can see it ha it's gone all the way through the little block. Yeah. And we just need a little soil so that it becomes stable. Okay. So now that will actually just sit right in like that. Okay. And if you get those scissors, we'll just cut off the top here. So I'll bend it over for you. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. So now what you can do is put a little bit more soil in just to sort of stabilize it a little bit. This one might be a little big for <laughs> for, <laughs> for the pot. We might we could more? have gone a yeah, a little bit more. That'll and pack it pack out one down fairly tough down on the bottom there. You don't okay. want it to be too top heavy. Well, it seems to be pretty good. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is if you can take that one out of the pot. And just we're gonna break up the roots a little bit. So just you just tease them out a little bit. Just you can see how they're sort of growing around and around. Yeah. So if we just tease them out a little bit, they'll have a tendency to grow out faster. Okay. So now you can stick it. So stick it on the far side, and have it growing towards the okay the the pole. Oh. Okay. 
So stick that out. Now you can fill in all the way around it. Okay, and you can pack nice. it. You can pack it down fairly tight. We want to make sure that. Not a very clean garden. <laughs> That's okay. We're outside. <laughs> I guess if you're in your kitchen, yeah. you have to worry about Thank this God a little I came bit. Here. Okay. Yeah. So we just want the we want the just a bit of the the plant to be exposed. Okay. And this seems yeah, this seems to be pretty good. So then what we're gonna do is you can follow it around. I'm gonna let you do this if you want to get creative, and you can make this follow around to however you want. Like you can follow the the natural curve of this. Yeah. So, okay. how are you feeling? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> and then maybe uh, this way. Sure, sure. Yeah, and then we'll curve it sure. around that way. Yeah. Okay. So now, we just need to attach the plant to the pole. So it's, this is gonna be pretty wonky. Oh, that's okay. It'll it'll look great. So we'll. We've got some Velcro here, so we just stick the Velcro around. Oh, I didn't cut that one <laughs> long enough. A little bit longer. Cut the Velcro. Uh, attach it like so. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to carry on and attaching them, okay. I'll give you that. I'm going to take this bigger pothos and I'm going to put it in a bigger pot. I'm going to use one of the heavier, the uh, heavier moss ones. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one out, check its roots. I've got my pot here. And we'll stick in this guy, I think. And I'm going to throw a little soil in the bottom. So it sits in properly. Yep. And then can you fill in the, the side there? I'm gonna let you do that. And while you do that, I'm gonna just, this one I have to get a little brutal to. I actually have to rip this poor guy apart. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna pull him apart in the, in the no middle here. No plants were harmed in the making. No, <laughs> oh, they'll love it after. <laughs> but you can see, I just sort of rip it apart part like so yeah and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Ooh. slide it around the pole like so then we're gonna if you want to backfill on the back side here and in this case instead of velcro they give you these little pins so these little pins are I'm gonna use to actually attach the uh, the plant to the pole. Okay. So you can obviously tell we didn't rehearse this, so I'm going to try to figure out, <laughs> figure out the best way of doing it. But you just go around like so, and they're designed like... just to poke in, okay. just like so. So I'll grab a couple of these and get them going. And the nice thing about the pothos is that they uh, they grow fairly quickly. Ooh, this is a good one. So this won't take very long at all to get up a little bit higher. So there we go. So now I'm gonna bend this, give it a little more, a little something. Yeah. For now. And then it'll come around there. And then I've got, oh, there's another one here. Yeah. It'll come around here and then I've got some accent. Nice. For it. So now you've taken your unruly, <laughs> crazy <laughs> plants and uh, done a little training. And I like what yeah. you did there. Thank you. I think in a, in a, a few months or a few weeks, it's going to look fantastic. Yeah. It's abstract, but I, Ab think, <laughs> I like abstract. it. <laughs> and we better give them a shot of water, and okay. then they're all set. Great. Thanks so much, Gordon. You're welcome.